Oh, it's another bloody warm one, lad. Another bloody warm one all day. I tell you now, say it is, mate. Well, spotted actresses, decals, and property pings, and how the devil are you? Just one second, I just need to check something. One second. So, we didn't have time to, uh, we didn't have time to, what's it call it, to set the camera up when we tipped at that last place, because the next lad was literally on doorstep, waiting to get in, and uh, it was what it was. Right, so, I've no banksman here, unfortunately, so I'm just going to have to really take my time, feather this out, we can't get turned in this yard. So, I'm just going to have to try and reverse out just by taking my time. Hopefully if I go slow enough, people coming down will see what I'm doing. And they shall wait for me. Just mindful of coming out this gate. There's one car behind us here now. Just to try and kick him over a little touch more. So it's just bread on as you do. Right. Come on, you bastard. Spring this round. Not too much. Just half mad. One car couldn't be arsed waiting for me, but there was a car parked on pavement just up there, so I need to find out where it was. Thanks for that. Cheers. Uh, so now we're going to uh, Huddersfield. I'm just going to go out the way I came in. Yeah, there was a car parked on opposite side of the road. At the end of the road, turn uh, to left. The way. So I just needed to know where it was before I swung, followed it round the swung, swung and swung unit. Turn left. I didn't want to clip it. Ideally, I could have done with a banksman, but you know, it is what it is. Right. Nice wide swing, just minding this little mini traffic island on our right hand side. What we've just come through. We're going to go left to get up here. So, yeah, we've ended up in Stockport. And um, we're loaded for Huddersfield basically. So, I, want, I was going to do a little, a little video coming out of that site and coming to Stockport because it was a nice little interesting drive. It was tight in various places. Um, but like I say, I couldn't set camera up in time. They wanted me out, and the next lad wanted in, so it was what it was. I try and have a quick chat with next lad and tell him crack, but there was a car behind him pipping and blurring its arm because I'd stopped alongside him. But that's just what people are like, isn't it? You know what I mean? Nobody's got any time or patience. Like that car then, what was behind me? The van waited further up, that's why I said thank you to him. But the car, once I get out to have a look where that parked car was, it just thought, ah, fuck you, I'm going past. Right. Some of them, I, I don't think they mean it, they just, once people get behind the wheel, they just, I don't know, they just turn ignorant, do you know what I mean? It's all about what they want. It's, fuck everybody else, it's what I want. That's what, what it's like. So we're going to go right turn at these right. lights. 
Uh, I'm assuming I'm following this out now towards the M60 and picking up for the M62. Just mindful, come over nice and wide here because it's this tiny traffic island pedestrian crossing thing is so I want to come right out to you. Right out, right out, right out, right out. No, start swinging him just now. Just minding foot railings there, clattering that woman's heed. We're out, we're clear. I'm up, I'm moving, he's seen me, I'm down. Progress. So yeah, it is what it is. I mean, it's five years ago I would have got, well I did used to get aggravated with people. Saying, I'm in a fucking attic, what are you fucking doing? What are you fucking talking about? I'm fucking telling you I'm in a fucking attic, I'm in an attic. And then woman in shop and say, I'm just trying to serve you up, dude. What, what did you want again? I've been begging an egg. <laughs> um, but no, I don't bother on thick skin now. You just, you've just got to take it as it comes. There's no point getting stressed out about it. You're never going to achieve anything by getting stressed out. Trust me, you're really not. It's just, you're not, it's just not. It's not worth it. So now I actually take into consideration other people's ignorance and I'm just like, well, whatever, it's not real. I'll get out when I get out. But again, if in doubt, get out and have a look. Like, I knew there was a parked car behind me as I was back, past, uh, reversing out. I knew there was a parked car on the opposite side of the road stationary, been there all day, been there when I came in that place. So I knew it was there, I'm then blind, on the passenger side, I couldn't see, so rather than just, I ah, keep going, keep going, it'll be all right, and then hear a thud and a scrape and a crunch as it crumbles the bloody thing up into uh, an aluminium tin can. I'd rather just get out and have a look in two, what, 10 seconds, do you know what I mean? The van knew crack, he waited on me. So yeah, I was kind of hoping we'd be going to over the, um, the what's he call it? over the Woodhead Pass, but we're not going to be because Huddersfield's to the side of it, isn't it? So we're just going to make our way towards the M60 and then pick up the M62 and I'll throw it into probably um, Butch Services or something before we start climbing up, up to Little House on Prairie and I'll cut you loose there. I'll just double check these straps again when I get there. There are eight, I've just checked them twice before I've got in, but it's a I don't know, it's a sub subconscious thing for me, I suppose. When I'm, whenever I strap a load, and I get a few, ma a few miles down the road, it's had a chance to bed in, hasn't it, and shudder about and that. I've got a load of big timber pieces, they're called bog mats or something, Christ knows what they're for. I've had them before from different places. They're great big heavy buggers, they're like railway sleepers, but big wide bastards with uh, metal bolts in. They obviously connect them up together for some Maybe they put them down on, on site or something, but it's obviously boggy, you know what I mean? Hence the name bog bats, I don't know. I would hazard a guess at. Right, there's a bus lane here, so just mindful. I'm not overly familiar with this area. I know we're on the outskirts of Stockport, and we should be coming down towards, um, I think towards Ashton on the line, that way on. Making our way onto M60. So we're, out, we're away from that bus lane now. You're still mindful. So we should be coming towards the M60 soon. And we'll take, uh, we'll probably go, if I'm thinking we're in the right, right place, we should take a left onto M60, I think. And we'll go down towards Oldham. We'll cut across and we'll drop out the other side there of, I think, is it Simster Island or something like that? We'll turn right then onto M62, basically. If I'm, if I'm thinking right way, we should be to the side of Manchester now. Stop, Manchester should be there, Stockport Centre type of thing. Anyway, After wherever we are, we are. We're yards, towards. Go round the roundabout, second exit. Yeah, else what, then just, take the motorway. Good lass. El Twaticus Navicus is telling us that we're coming towards them six days so there you go. Yeah, that should be Stockport down there. Not Manchester, sorry, Stockport. Yeah, Stockport Town Centre down there. Ah, I tell you where we are, I can see it from here, so then. You know that big arch railway bloody bridge, what goes over Stockport? You come over it on M60. Well, that's just up ahead there in front of us. 
job I've got a two a guy, didn't it, on a big open top red bus, I'd make no bloody money. We should just get through this and just roll up behind this car so we're not blocking this junction. Just mindful. Again, I am over, fam uh, over familiar. I am unfamiliar with this particular part of town. I've been round here before. After a while ago. 80 yards, go round the roundabout, second exit, second then exit. take the motorway. Take your motorway. Yeah, baby, yeah, baby, yeah, yeah, baby, yeah, baby, yeah, yeah, baby, yeah, baby, yeah, and the lights are changing mirrors now. Go round the roundabout, second exit, second then exit. take the motorway. Straight on, basically. Oh, it's a big roundabout, isn't it? it is. Yeah, pyramids there, so they on the right hand side. They used to call it the co-op pyramid or something, didn't they? So, yeah, this should spit us onto FM60. So, we were nowhere near Ashton under Lamb, but I knew we'd come out around roundabout here eventually. That knows, this, that, and that knows. Making it up as I go along, I know I was winking it. Right, mirrors! Get over, car. I'll flash me on then, come on. Good lad, good lad, good lad, good lad. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, we're on Them 60, it's not poor, see?
22nd today. 23rd tomorrow Tuesday. Today's Monday. 23rd Tuesday. 24th Wednesday. 25th Thursday. 26th on Friday. We'll buy the bloody hell. We'll buy the bloody grin. Some bastards' cats had kittens. They 
waited till kit to about eight week old ready for getting rid of and then they just scopped them up in a bag gone on a push bike and drove right fucking river and just started throwing them in bushes willy nilly and fucked off we did go back to the same bramble patch on friday night we, could, we had a look around and we had a look everywhere we couldn't see anything else because wife was frightened in case there was another fucking six kittens in, frightened in the bushes we couldn't see anything so we've just we've kept looking uh, looking well his name was lucky but then over the weekend wife's come out with 53 different fucking name changes and suggestions she's changed she's changed her mind on it more times than fucking wind honestly so eventually i says right you've got three choices you can either have stig as in stig of the dump no no i don't like stig i'm not calling him stig i said stan he looks like a stan to me she said, well, oh, Stan's all right. I said, oh, little Sydney, Sid. Oh, I like Sydney. I says, right, his name's Sid then, and that's that. So he's called, we've called him Sid. So he's settled in all right. He's fucking made up. He's being fed. He's doing big shits now. He's on proper solid, you know what I mean? Big shits with a couple of bits of worms coming out where we've worked him. And he's settled in. So the cats have been twining at him and one's been batting him with a fucking paw, knocking him out. But they're not attacking because he's only a babble, you know what I mean? Like, ooh, 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 twining at him. What are you doing encroaching on our territory? The mirrors were coming across. But no, this is this is his home. So I sat upstairs with him yesterday and I had a word with him, I had a chat. I said, You're very lucky that my wife found you. I said, Because otherwise, if she'd have took dog for a walk anywhere else, you wouldn't have been here, you'd have probably been need now. So I hope you realise how lucky you are. I said, you'll always have an home here now. I said, this is your house. Unless you go there, top in and get fucking run over. I said, this will be your house. I said, well, mind on, lad. I said, we're not having any any spraying up these friggy balls when you're a bit older. I said, they're going for to have the balls chopped, lad. When they're about six months old, we're chopping the balls off, lad. I said, I'm not sadistic. I'm not going to do it myself. But they're getting the balls chopped off, lad. So there's no topping for thee. Now, I've no doubt he'd no idea what I was saying, but it's all in the tone of your voice and he just kept nussling up to me, then he climbed up fucking scrap the wall and, you know what I mean? So, yeah, we've got another cat and his name's Sid. A little ginger and white Tom. I also considered calling him Tom, but I thought, nah, he's less he's a black and white one off Tom and Jerry's not good as it, you know what I mean? And then wife come in and said, you sound fucking ridiculous talking to him. And I said, well, it is what it is, I'm just laying down the law of the land to him and telling him what the crack is, you know what I mean? And that's that. So yeah, I would like to get all of that bastard what's dumped up. They've probably dumped a fucking litter full of willy-nilly. They've gone for a ride up by the air river and just scattered them over there. Now, it's a bloody shame. I've not got in touch with the person who said they'd found one, but if it's out the same litter, it's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? You know what I mean? They're exactly the same age in a bunch of kittens. Um, if it's out the same litter, then at least two of them have been found. Now, depending on how many the cat had, they could have scattered them willy-nilly and fucking animals have took the rest. I mean, a big seagull would take a kit like that, you know what I mean? A big scavenger seagull. They're opportunists, aren't they? They're not bothered. Well, I just didn't have the art to... to I mean, wife said, we can put him in a rescue centre if you want. I'm not bothered, I will do. I said, no, I can't. I said, he's been abandoned once. I said, he's probably frightened him after fucking death. I said, you found him. You fetched him home. This is now his house. You know what I mean? I've paid for vet bill for him. So, this is now his house. This is his home until he decides what fuck us off or he gets run over, which can't be helped. I mean, you never actually own a cat, do you? You just, uh, it's just, you just, you just learn to wait on it out the foot. If you call a dog, it can come running to you willy nilly. I mean, this one does now, he loves me, he loves me at wife because we've rescued him. But give it six months, he won't give a fuck about us, tell me. You call a dog, he can come running to you, loving you, and oh, I have not seen you for five minutes, I love you, I love you. Stroke me. You call a cat, it'll just look at you ignorant, fucking give me them eyes, and it'll take a message get back to you even when it can be asked. Do you know what I mean? Oh, they can be ignorant bastards, but they are independent that way, cats. And they'll soon fuck off to a next door neighbour or somebody if they're feeding them better food. They're little sluts, cats, like, they really are. They're hooers. 
he's having his balls chopped off. Right, anyway, we're coming up towards uh, the M60 and the M62 at Simster Island. So I need to go put it onto the 62, then we're running up the big hill, and I'll pull it into boat services and we'll cut you loose well. So I want to get on. Again, I'll check my straps. I always double check them when I've come a few miles down the road because there's nothing worse than looking in them mirrors and seeing a strap on blah, 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 flapping a bit. I hate it when I see wagons driving down water and straps are bouncing all over. Blah. You can see ratchet ready for dropping out. So once it, the load's settled in, I personally, I can't speak on behalf of everyone, and again, I'm no expert. I'm not trying to preach to anyone in any way, shape or form. But I, uh, I always try stop for the services. Just have a quick walk round and just double check that they're still tight. If there's any loose, just nip them back up and those away. Manchester la 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 and a Manchester la la la. Oh, by the way, someone was asking, today is Monday afternoon, obviously it's half past 12, um, 22nd of July 2024, someone was asking before, whereabouts was that video in Manchester this morning, what you was reversing into, was it in Ardenshaw? Um, I don't know what area it was, I know that it was on the old Man City football ground just off Hyde Road. After Street's called Bennett Street. Take the exit, then so apparently right. Manchester City's football ground used to be there where it was. Just where it's mindful. I'm not coming off here, I'm just coming back into lane one. Take the exit. I don't then want to come off that. Keep right. The one that leads, M62 leads. I don't want to take that particular exit. There's two exits. We're off at the right one. Just backing him off because traffic's slowing down up ahead. Go on the left exit, that will be the M60 to Bolton. Keep right, yeah, then go round the roundabout. So yeah, it was on um, the old Manchester City football ground. I always six. thought Man City's football ground, the old one, was Bain Road. I mean, I'm not a football fan, I'd rather pluck my own eyeballs out and shave the... Oh, I've read wrong lid. I'd rather um, shave my own scrotum dry with the lid off a rusty corn beef tin than go watching football. I've no time for it. It's east to their own, do you know what I mean? But it's not my thing at all. I'm thinking this lane will take us round, actually, because I'm just looking at them white lines and I've got a signal on anyway, just in case. Man, you nobody pays any fucking attention anyway to, to, your, to your indicators, nobody's interested. But I think this white line here will just take his round nicely, but I'm just mindful now of anyone coming across in front of me. Yeah, we won't wait until we're sorted. Right, right. Right, Lights are changing your mirrors, mirrors, did a lot of data, mirrors, mirrors, did a lot of Yeah, there was a lad just coming into that job as I was coming out. And I didn't have time to chat to him. I was trying to chat to him and tell him to track it. I asked him had he been before, he said no. So I was trying to tell him what I'd done. I said, you can either blindside it in, or you can go down to the bottom of the road and spin round. You've got to come in off Hyde Road and then under a big railway bridge and it's just down there. Well, you could see the bridge in front of me, but I drove in under that bridge. So I had to drive right down to the bottom of the road, spin it round and then come back up, reversing on your good side, which you've seen it was difficult with them parked cars. But I said, if you nose up to past the white car, so you go right past it to the corner, to the junction, I says, nose in there, I said, bring it back round, I says, you need a couple of shunts, but I got in all right. I said it was bloody tight, man. I know it worked, I said, but I get in. And then this car were pipping behind. I wanted to try and pull over and help him, do you know what I mean? But it's just, 
this never know where park. And he, you know what he's doing, you know what I mean? It's, it's like hotels, you get used to it. You know, you just... And as the driver, you've got to deal with it. You've just got to get on with it. There's no point mourning. So I'm not doing this, this is fucking here. You've just got to get on with it. Well, there has been occasions when I've been to sites and I've refused to go in because I know I can't get turned round, and it's it's very rare that I've done it. But there are occasions when I've gone in and I said, no, I'm not getting tapped. You're not going in there. I won't get turned or I'll sink. There's too much mud. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not doing it. You come out and you tip me here. And you've got to stand your ground because if you don't, they'll let you go in. They'll force you to go in and bully you. As soon as you get stuck and they took that load off you, they just fuck off and leave you. Nobody gives a shit, you know what I mean? So you've got to stand your ground and say, nah, fuck you, I'm not doing it, pal. Well, don't swear at them, obviously. Because if you start swearing at them, you've lost the argument. And now, as the driver, you're the captain of the ship, not them. You tell them what the crack is. Don't let them tell you. Most of them are lovely people, but you do get some arseholes, and trust me, I've met them. Some mirrors! We're going to put a signal on because we're in between three and do and yards. The do, do the do. I'm just going to come off at Butch Services here, guys, and I'm going to cut you loose. I'm going to crack on the Huddersfield. I also need to ring a chap. I need to look where this place is precisely and ring this telephone number I've been given. So that'll work itself out nice and dandy, thank you, please. Right, so I have been your old mate Borothea. Once again, you, my friend, have been Turn beautiful. Turn left, then turn left. Shut up, well, I'm going to piss it to the missus. Bet, I'm not bad, tell me again. You're bloody bloody. Go on, go on, now, son, I'll pay, I'll pay, go on, to a wedding. Uh, where was I? Yeah, I've been your old mate Borothea once again. You, my friend, have been beautiful. Um, for now, I'm out of here. If I can get the fling parked up, I don't like this. After shit, 200 shit. yards, bear left. For now, I'm out of here. Join me again on the next one. There's probably two good bears there with the ramp pack with caravans. That's a shit service, is this? It's just not practical at all. It's just not it's crap. I don't know where we're going to park, to be honest. I'll try and throw the bugger in somewhere. It's frigging heaving, too. Where's this one going? Sticking out into the other bear. They're as tight as they're as tight as submarine fucking doors, these bears, lad. Tight as submarine doors, lad. Right, this one's giving forest. I'm hoping this one fucks off as well. I'm hoping two of them's giving out. If two of them's giving out, they're laughing. No, he's just driving forward so he can get out after. Bastard. Bastard bastard. I was hoping two of them would piss off and then I could, uh, <laughs> I could get up to front and then I'll get out. 
But this one in front's probably on the tackle brake. Hopefully he's not just pulled up. He might be mindful of this thing coming in behind me. Right, I'm out of here. I'll see you later. Ta-da.